Welcome to another great hot tip from Sam's Camping Videos. Today's hot tip will be how to resist or prevent damage to your skin from skin cancer when you're out in the sun recreating and camping and hiking and backpacking. So let's get to it. Now there's a lot of times when we were young to where we just worship the sun. We want our skin to be bronzed like those beautiful men and women we would be seeing on TV and in the movies. We just didn't know back then that that was a very bad thing to do. Years later, doctors and scientists told us that prolonged exposure to the sun, especially in the southern latitudes of the United States, could produce cancer, and in particular, skin cancer. And while being exposed to the sun from a very young age, perhaps in your single digits through your teenage years, and continuing on with that habit, many, many, many of people that I knew, both in my personal and in my professional life, developed skin cancer because of it and they paid some the ultimate price. I don't want that to happen to you folks. So when you're out in the sun, especially if you're young, use sunblock. Use it all the time. Use it on your children. Get them in the habit of using sunblock. This will resist and hopefully prevent skin cancer late in life. Now some of you folks out there you may have been seduced and tempted by those artificial sun boxes, which are called tanning booths. That is nuts. Don't put yourself into any of those tanning booths. Yes, they'll give you a good tan if you're light of skin like me, but they will produce skin cancer someday. Don't do it. Don't be silly. Don't be stupid. Don't use tanning booths. Now, for people my age who didn't know about the damage that sun could cause, especially skin cancer, uh, we have to use other alternatives to minimize any further exposure. So far, I've been very fortunate. I've never been diagnosed with skin cancer or shown no uh, symptoms of it. So what I do and what anyone who is around my age should do, and even younger, use sunblock, use SPF 50 sunblock, like what I'm holding here. SPF 50. It can be any brand. Just make sure that you lavish it on yourself. And don't be skimpy with it either. Other things that you can do to minimize the possibility of skin cancer is uh, protect as much of your skin as you can. Now, I'm out in the forest. I'm in a cool to cold environment, so it's natural to be covered up the way that I am. But this morning, before I came outside for the day, I still use sunblock on my arms. Now, I'm wearing long jeans. I uh, didn't bring any casual shorts of any kind, so I didn't use any sunblock on my legs this morning. But later on in the summer, I will be using sunblock on my legs. So I use it all over my face, my neck, neck here, even below the t-shirt line here. Because some of the shirts, you know, that you may be wearing, you know, well, they got like a sort of a V-neck to them. You got to protect that area too. And also wear hats. Now, I'm not following my own advice right now, uh, mainly because I didn't want a shadow, you know, in my face while I was filming this video for you. But wear wide brim hats. You've seen me wear one in many of my Sam's camping videos. So in closing, protect your skin from skin cancer. You can still recreate out in the forest, in the desert, on the beach and still be protected from the sun. Wear clothes 
to cover up as much of your skin as you possibly can and when that's not feasible because of the heat then you use sunblock on every exposed inch of your body use SPF 50 if possible don't use 30 or 20 or even I even seen those which have been labeled as SPF 10s which are totally useless for anybody and don't be putting SPF 10s on your little children you're doing them damage we love our children we don't want them to develop skin cancer later so give them SPF 50s right off the bat and finally wide brim hats cover everything you can SPF 50 sunblock wherever your skin is exposed and you may have to apply it several times a day if you get wet like you're at a lake or a river or the beach put it back on after you dry off I'm not in any of those environments so I can go a full day on one SPF 50 treatment in the morning so please look out for the Sun the Sun gives us life but if you overindulge in your worship of the Sun you will pay the ultimate price of skin cancer and I don't want that to happen to you look out for my next hot tip like this video if you like the content and the subject and you want more hot tips to come forward to you until next time be safe have fun goodbye